from TV, Channel 2, Chicago. Bill Curtis, a reporter for you. John Coughlin, Johnny Morris, and Walter Jacobson's Perspective. On the Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening. The almost unspeakable horror that is Jonestown, Guyana, is even more horrible tonight. American soldiers searching the death camp of Jonestown have now counted uh, for 775 victims of the mass suicide murder. That's twice as many as first were thought dead. Hidden by adults when they fell from the poison. Walter's perspective. It may not be an appropriate time to say this, but I am thinking it, so I may as well say it. Eight million dollars of the taxpayers' money to return the remains of the bodies from Guyana. That bearded old gentleman in a red suit came to town today, and he and his 12 prancing reindeer were proof positive that the Christmas season is underway. Santa rode in a parade sponsored by the Lakeview Chamber of Commerce, a near north side event that attracted about 4,000 spectators. And while the jolly old gentleman in the sleigh was giving out with a merry round of ho-ho-hos, thousands of shoppers were crowding downtown streets and stores trying to make a dent in their Christmas lists. Chuck Gomez is in the loop now and has this live report. Chuck? Harry, as you can see, the crowds have thinned out somewhat at this hour, though many of the stores don't plan to close until 7 p.m. tonight. John Coughlin, you knew that, of course. I, I found it out just now. <laughs> I have a friend who tells me these things. He sits at the anchor desk every night. I have a few things I'm going to tell you, too, Bill. Looks like we'll get a little sunshine tomorrow morning, but that should be about it for the sunshine for the weekend. More clouds will roll in by tomorrow afternoon, and by tomorrow night and Sunday, there is a chance of snow. A chance, mind you. I'm not promising any snow, but there's about a 30 to 50 percent chance of snow. Radar picking up nothing that even looks like snow or looks like rain at the moment. As you can see, it's clear no matter how close we get. Just popping in very close like that. No rain, no snow anywhere near the Chicago area. But well, we do have a developing snowstorm out in the southwest right now, and it's bringing some snow to some sections of uh, Arizona and to New Mexico and Colorado. But that snow is moving pretty much in an easterly direction. And the way it looks right now, it's going to move to the south of us. However, it will be close enough to Chicago so that it is possible that we could get some snow in northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin over the weekend. We have a high-pressure system right now over Missouri, and that's spreading fair to partly cloudy skies throughout much of our area. But that high will be moving off to the east during the next 24 hours, and with it will go the fair to partly cloudy skies, and more clouds will roll in. This is the low-pressure system out here in Arizona that could, I say could, give us some snow here in the Chicago area. Uh, tomorrow night we'll have temperatures down in the upper 20s or low 30s and that'll be cold enough for snow whether or not we get any snow is still kind of problematical at the moment meaning i'm not too sure <laughs> right now on our, on our regional map we have mostly clear cold weather up here in wisconsin it's kind of chilly throughout our part of the country and temperatures range from 21 up at rhinelander wisconsin to about 45 down at uh, carbondale this afternoon 50 over in kansas city at 6 o'clock, we have a reading of 69% uh, on the relative humidity scale. Wind is from the southwest at 7 miles an hour. Winds tomorrow will be out of the northeast, but only about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Barometer steady this past hour, 30 and 16 hundredths inches. High today was 37 after a low of 30. Sunrise tomorrow morning, for those of you who get up that early, 651. Sunset tomorrow evening, for those of you who stay up that late, 423. Precipitation. Today amounted to absolutely nothing, and that's all we expect to get for the next, uh, oh, 24 hours or so. Well, for those of you who didn't get down to State Street, and that includes a lot of people, there is what it looks like right now, our live minicam down on State Street. Current temperatures, 5, 33 at Midway, 36 at the Loop and Lakefront, and 31 at O'Hare Field. Tonight, partly cloudy skies. It'll be kind of chilly tonight, but no rain expected. We'll have an overnight low of about 22 in the western suburbs, about 32 close to the lake. Weather for tomorrow, some sunshine in the morning, but rapidly becoming cloudy as the day wears on, and there is a chance of some snow tomorrow night. High temperature tomorrow should get up to about 37 degrees, and then down in the 20s tomorrow night. Sunday, there's still a chance of some snow. It'll be kind of cold. High temperature on Sunday, only about 33 degrees. Er, yeah, 33 degrees. I was going to mention, we've had only about uh, half an inch of snow so far, so, so far, so good, or bad, depending on how you feel about snow. I'll think about that, John. That's comfortable in that kind of company. Yes, Walter, I have a review of a film that is so scary. I hate to admit this, but after seeing the movie Halloween, I actually went to sleep with a light on in my apartment.